Good evening. A mother and her two young daughters remain in hospital tonight after being stabbed in a domestic incident at their home in Birmingham this morning. A 17-year-old boy, believed to be the girl's brother, was arrested and is being questioned on suspicion of attempted murder. Callum Watkinson reports. When the police arrived here this morning, they found a 10-year-old girl stabbed and bleeding in the street outside and a teenage girl and a woman with multiple stab wounds inside. They are all members of the same family. The 999 call came from neighbours. Jeff Woods lives a few doors down. I just heard the lady screaming. I got dressed, went to go and see what was happening. And I saw the lady with a, a little baby on, on her lap. There was a couple of teachers what come from school what was giving, that, giving help. You don't, you don't expect anything like that to happen, do you? It's just good, good community, like, you know. A 17-year-old boy thought to be the girl's brother has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. The stabbings happened about an hour before parents were due to drop their children off here at Wincliffe Primary School and parts of it have had to remain closed for the day as detectives continue to investigate what happened next door. They were keen to reassure the community here that this is a domestic incident and they're not looking for anybody else in connection with these stabbings. We are absolutely clear that this is an isolated, tragic incident. Uh, we have specially trained officers supporting the family at present and I don't believe there are any wider community concerns out of the incident this morning. A baby was also in the house at the time but was unharmed and is now being looked after by family members. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Small Heath. A mother's been stopped from breastfeeding her newborn baby at a Warwickshire hospital. Gemma Murphy said she was asked to move to a private room by staff at St Cross Hospital in Rugby because she might offend other patients. Daryl Murphy has the story. New mums are usually told breastfeeding is the healthiest way to feed their baby. But when Gemma Murphy tried to do just that with six-week-old Neve at the Hospital of St Cross in Rugby, staff told her she wasn't allowed. The lady said um, it would offend the other patients if I were to breastfeed in the waiting room. Now this particular waiting room is um, very small. There were just a handful of women in there, all of whom were heavily pregnant. Um, I don't think they would have had any issues whatsoever with me breastfeeding there. Gemma, a first time mum, was visiting the hospital in December for a two hour test to check if she still had a type of diabetes which she developed while pregnant. Eventually, she was taken to a separate room where she was allowed to breastfeed in private. Afterwards, Gemma complained to the hospital but didn't hear back. Then last week, she saw the TV coverage about Emily Slough, the mother from Rugeley in Staffordshire, who was labelled a tramp on Facebook for breastfeeding in public. That led to a protest last weekend by other mums who say attitudes towards breastfeeding need to change. Um, people are unhappy or maybe uncomfortable with women breastfeeding in public. But it is legal, there's nothing wrong with breastfeeding, plus it's one of the best things that you can do for your baby. Um, so I'm keen to highlight the need for um, more people to accept that women will be breastfeeding in public. The Hospital of St Cross has since been criticised by the National Childbirth Trust and the Royal College of Midwives, who've described Gemma's treatment as disgraceful. Bosses at the hospital told us they do support breastfeeding and are investigating what happened to Gemma. In a statement, University Hospital's Coventry and Warwickshire NHS Trust said for certain diabetes tests, patients are told not to bring their children because they'll have to keep still for two hours and are also at risk of fainting. Gemma, though, had her husband with her and had been told a week before that she would be allowed to breastfeed during her appointment. This afternoon, bosses at the hospital got back in touch with Gemma. She says they want to meet with her tomorrow to talk about how they can learn from her case. Daryl Murphy, ITV News, Rugby. Police investigating the murder of a mother from Coventry more than two decades ago have traced a man who failed to answer bail after being arrested in connection with her disappearance. Nicola Payne was last seen in 1991 when she was 18. A 49-year-old man who was arrested in December was found at an address in Coventry today. Police say he is now helping them with their inquiries. 
A couple from Wolverhampton whose son needs a heart transplant are calling for the rules on organ donation from newborn babies to be changed. Six-month-old Ryan Brookhouse is being kept alive while he waits for a donor, but with guidelines in this country banning babies under two months from being donors, he's relying on a heart being donated from abroad. We just got to do what we got to do. We're going to keep our son alive and we've got to do whatever we can to make sure you know, he has the best chance in life. We've never given up hope about Ryan getting better, even though he has scans every week. Um, say and they say no, there's no change, no change. We still keep that hope that one day maybe. An investigation is underway after a fire at a pub in Shropshire. Around 50 firefighters were called to the Taylor Arms in London upon Turn at about half past two this morning. Crews will revisit the scene tomorrow to inspect the building. Police were called to a protest by students at a school in Rugby today. It's after they were told not to wear a bracelet that's being sold in school in support of a fellow pupil who's battling cancer. Bilton High School says the bracelets breach their uniform policy, prompting dozens of students to go on strike and skip lessons today. The school said pupils would be allowed to wear them on a non-uniform day next month, though. Now time for a look at the weather forecast. Here's Joe Lobo. A short break. Whatever the weather. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Good evening. Been another very pleasant day today so far. Sunny spells, warm conditions as well. But things will change by tomorrow. Expecting more showers, cooler weather as well. But if you're out and about, make sure you have your brolly with you because it is going to be a wet one by the afternoon. Tonight, first of all, temperatures are holding up about six or seven degrees Celsius, feeling much clearer around the northeastern parts of the region. Tomorrow morning, Thicker cloud, especially the further south around Herefordshire and Worcestershire. Before tomorrow afternoon, those showers start to move in. A very wet afternoon ahead, feeling much cooler with that breeze too. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. And that's all we've got time for tonight. Up next here on ITV, a fascinating new programme from Raggy Omar called On Assignment. That's here in just a few minutes' time. We're back during daybreak in the morning. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.